When we first started this project, it seemed like a huge challenge. It had to be digital, but still feel like real life. We didn't know the scope of the task ahead of us because it has never been done before. At first I was thinking, okay, how is it going to be? I was the sort of guy that was, uh, I need hands-on in my life. But in all honesty, uh, it's great fun. And the good thing is, I'm constantly learning as well. I've heard about it for, for months and finally getting to use it, it's, yeah, it's a brilliant tool and yeah, an absolute asset. It's quite a team activity, you know, it's not, you're not operating on your own, you're working in a team, so, so yeah, it's, it's really fun. It's, and, and I think that's aided by the, the intuitive, how easy it is to use. It's like using an iPhone, really. The whole experience has been really good. Yeah. We wanted to make a touchscreen solution, but in order for it to feel like real life, it would have to be big, one-to-one -one scale. But at the same time, it would have to be very precise because one has to get really close and make measurements. Unfortunately, we couldn't go out and buy a solution like that. There were lots of big screens, but they're all made for digital signage and didn't have the precision. So we came up with a solution that incorporated nine 46-inch monitors and a high-precision touch overlay. So if we take, for instance, the screen, now the benefits, uh, and, and again, slightly comparing to a conventional simulator is, I can actually take that screen, I can move the screen around, and that can be the big screen or the small screen. So rather than what we try to aim for is not going down the route of PowerPoint. If you show a participant PowerPoint after PowerPoint after PowerPoint, it's not going to be beneficial. And what I try and aim to do is bring the participants up to the simulator, show them, okay, the component I'm discussing in the slide is this, it does this, it interacts with this, so I can go from one cabinet to the next. And if I can't show a cabinet, I can show a general location. So I'll use the control screen, which is the smaller screen that we've seen. So I can t turn that around and say, okay, where I'm talking about is the nacelle. And then I can quickly say, okay, those signals go to the tower. Then I can click on a cabinet in the tower and I can say, okay, from this area, it will then go to this area. So straight away, they get a real comprehension of, ah, okay, I see how these signals are working, rather than just showing it on a diagram, in, in effect. In order for the participants to feel like they were in a turbine, we made a real-time 3D model uh, that they can use to navigate around the simulator on a touchscreen. The V164 turbine is different from other turbines, both in layout and scale. The control screen provides a clear overview and helps the technician navigate in the turbine, both in the simulation, but also in real life. The V164 turbine is completely new, and when we started making the simulator, only one had been built. So we decided to base our imagery on turbines still in the factory floor. This presented a problem, so we decided to introduce 3D graphics into the pipeline. The environments that, that, that you created with the with the visuals, you know, it's 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 as real as it could be. I think, uh, you, you know, you've got the uh, the the cabinets and the components in front of you, but you've also got the surrounding um, graphics of, of of the nacelle. So yeah, I think it's it, I think it's fairly realistic and, and added with the sound as well. I think that uh, that does help. In real life, a technician will locate a component based on an RDS code, which is often hidden behind wires. Of course, on a screen you can't just move the wires, so we invented the RDS overlay. And having the, uh, the RDS overlay made, made everything easier. Uh, you can put that on and you can, you can see all the codes that are on the, on the uh, equipment. In all honesty, when we first began the project, uh, obviously it was quite, you know, I think people were quite sceptical on how it worked, including ourselves, and it's going to happen. But if we look at where we are then to now, we've greatly achieve what we wanted to achieve. We are now at the pinnacle of where we needed to be. But not only that, what I also found was, okay, how are the uh, participants that have been in the company 20 years going to react to this? They've never trained like this before, but we were actually surprised. The most uh, giving people towards this project have been the guys that have been in the company the longest. They are really uh, giving us uh, hope and progress for the future by saying this is the future, this is actually what we want to see and of course the new guys they're all in this technological era uh, so this is what they want anyway, this is what they're used to and we're constantly evolving it to make it more beneficial as possible. Uh, the advantage of the ATS, it's, um, it, it brings a real life turbine to a, to a classroom environment. You've, you've basically got a, a real turbine with real 
systems that work, react in a, in a realistic way. It's a, it's a really good tool for technicians to use in the future. So, answering your question, is it fun to teach every day? It really is. In the end, we all made it happen.